Assalamu alaikum my dear listeners how are you all hope you all are doing great we all know about our dear homeland pakistan which is full of green reef flowers rivers lakes and many beautiful places we love visiting all these beautiful places of pakistan we love to celebrate independence day on 14th of august but never think about it that how pakistan came into being what are the struggles behind this peace it's about the time when british came to the subcontinent they made their own government and joined the government of muslims who were ruling there for thousands of years the muslims in the subcontinent became a slave of hindus and british they can't find any jobs because the british used to give the jobs to the hindus and their own people but not to the muslims muslims in the subcontinent were not even allowed to perform their religious duties hindus and british became an enemy of muslims at that time ulama iqbal who is our national poet started writing poetry for muslims in those difficult times qaid asim came as a light in the darkness for whole muslims firstly he worked for hindu muslim unity and called the ambassador of hindu muslim unity but later on he realized that hindus and british just want to make muslims their slave and do not want equality That was the time when Qaid Azam started working for a separate homeland for Muslims. The idea of a separate homeland was first given by Ulama Iqbal in 1930 at Hudbay Alaba. He asked to unite Punjab, Sindh, Balochistan, Kashmir, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and Bengal. and make a separate homeland for muslims where they can independently follow the teachings of islam and can live in peace then qaid azam ilama iqbal and all the muslim leaders started working together for the rights of muslims on the basis of two nation ideology according to which hindus and muslims are two different nations which have different culture different traditions and even different religion in 1933 chaudhry rehmat ali khan and some other muslim leaders gave this idea a name gave a name to the separate homeland and this name was pakistan qaid azam worked day and night to fulfill the dream of pakistan he indulged in muslims the spirit of union and separate homeland and the struggle was finished on 14th of august 1947 when pakistan was added into the map of the world so my listeners the country in which we are living is made by the struggle of a lot of people so we should try to protect our homeland pakistan so from now on every independence day during our celebrations We should also try to take a moment to thank Allah for giving us some great leaders like Qaid Azam the founder of Pakistan Ulama Iqbal the national poet of Pakistan Sir Syed Ahmed Khan Chaudhry Rehmat Ali Khan Liaquat Ali Khan and many other heroes and we should also pray for the independence of Kashmiri people who are sacrificing their lives and are still in curfew since last year may allah pak protect our dear homeland and may pakistan rise and shine ami have a good day